I came in here this morning to check on the chicks after I put them in here last night. And there are actually little quail chicks up inside the feeder there. They'd eaten the feed and they've climbed up inside, inside that jar. Isn't that crazy? Overnight, these little chicks made quite a mess. There's a lot of them in this small space. So I intend to uh, split them up into two separate totes today. But first, right for now, I'm just going to change out the paper in here. I've put paper, newspaper down in the bottom and then I put a couple of layers of paper towel on top of that because that gives the little chicks some traction with their feet. The newspaper is kind of slick and they can slide around and get splayed out with their legs if they don't have the paper towel plus the paper towels absorbent. So what I'm going to do is get some new newspaper and kind of at the same time lay it out as I'm rolling the other one up. I rolled the paper towel up inside the newspaper so all I have to do is put it down in here and unroll it as I roll this one up which is very wet and pretty nasty with poop and food and water unroll as I roll Let's see what I'm moving these little make sure I don't roll somebody up in it Go over there little babies They'll be happy to be on some clean, dry bedding. <laughs> they don't all want to stay over there yet. Almost. Whoop, there was somebody caught. All right, are you gonna stay over there now? While I get this cleaned up. Okay, now we'll get some clean water and some new food, and I think they'll be pretty good. I've got the, an extra crate in here now and I'm going to separate the babies. I'm trying to pick out the smaller ones to move over into the other pen. I'm concerned that they've been a little crowded and maybe the smaller ones are losing out so I'm going to separate them off first. So I have about 58 of them so half of them would be 29. So that's what I'm going to do is try to put 29 over there in that other brown container right down there. There are two of them that are especially kind of runty right down there in the corner. All of these kind of look the same size, which is good. I want them all the same size, so I think probably it doesn't matter that much which ones I pick. Well, I got the feed in here, I've got the water in here, got the heat lamp here, and the little quail chicks in there. 
so it won't be long until they outgrow this area they grow so fast and they'll start flying even though this is like 15 this is like 15 inches tall they start flying around and jumping out a lot faster than chicken chicks do so I'll have to do something different but for now they're in here secure and safe and and warm and they can do a lot of growing in the next week or so and then we'll do something different.